Oh, dead bod history. Road trip. Road trip. We have a president elect. Breaking news. <laughs> Joe Biden defeated Donald Trump. Oh, oh, hold Trump. on, hold on. Well, you and I were back in the 1850s at Fort Tejon. Fort Tejon. Very cool. We saw a family of deer, and I don't know. I probably it was only a hundred feet away. Oh yeah, that's pretty close. Got a bunch of photos and video. It was really cool. This family of deer, mule deer, I think, just walking up through this. And then we come back to 2020. And you guys moved on without us. Yeah. The one time I wasn't looking at, it's like watching a <laughs> pot of water boil. The one time I wasn't looking at my phone, that's when they decided they to call it. it. Yeah, it looks like Pennsylvania. They called Pennsylvania. So it doesn't matter. Trump can win every other state left, and he's probably not going to. And he still wouldn't have. He, yeah, Pennsylvania just, puts Biden over 270. Biden doesn't need Puts him at else. 273. Yeah. So that's it. Well, here you go. Biden built back the blue wall. Democracy in action. Now, as Eric was saying, now the real election takes place in December, right? Yeah, I need to figure out how I'm getting out of here. Oh, sorry. Uh, Are we not supposed to go north? Oh, we're supposed to be on the other side. How'd you get over here? I... You crossed the highway. Oh. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! I think. Ah. Oh, it's just... I don't know how that's going to get us back on the other side of the road. It has its way. It's still north. Okay. I you follow? I don't, I don't, I don't want to go north. I don't want to. Okay. So this is where I have to turn around. Okay. I'm sure there's a the way. The breaking news is going to have to pause. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, we're not going to stop filming because this is. Sorry, Biden and Trump. Edge of my seat footage. We have more pressing <laughs> concerns. <laughs> like Eric somehow took us across the highway without anyone realizing it. Well, I think that's how it's supposed to. Just pull up maps or something. I'm, Why should I, okay. Well, because I'm recording on my phone. You have literally a map that. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't help me. Okay. No, I don't want to go north. I want to go sud. Sud. Is there hard. maybe you got to go back over and there's an maybe. on ramp back on the other side? Or. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Somebody or where we enter, maybe where we enter is where we exit. Maybe. I bet that's what it is. <clears throat> In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's just a really sharp exit to go south. I've never gone south from Fort Tejon before. I've always gone north. So this is a new ground for you. Yeah. Well, we're driving back Fort Tejon again. There it is. You can't see it, but we can. It's there. It's nice. Trust us. It's, it's nice. It's nice. Very nice. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, we just. What? The way is the way. It'll be fine. Oh, there it is. Freeway entrance. I literally. Okay. Just, I was looking for a sign. And I have trust issues. So. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm going to wreck this whole trip. It's only been 45 minutes. See, I have very little room to ramp up the speed here. I'm going to switch. You want me to. The road is wet too. I think give you like twenty six feet to kind of get up to speed. Quick march. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so, so anyway, Joe Biden has won. Is that what we're calling that? Jibide? That's, it's, well, because whenever Kamala refers to him, like, in debates or interviews, she's like, she doesn't say, like, Joe. She says, Joe Biden. And so oh. then Maya Rudolph on SNL is playing Kamala oh. this season. She's like, well, I know Joe Biden. And Joe Biden's going to be great for this country, so. That's funny. Yeah. But. I narrowly avoided a very large rock back there that was in the roadway. Okay. Very possibly could have ruined the trip. Yeah. I mean, it's been touch and go this whole time. We've had a slight drizzle yep. all morning. I'm slightly fogged up here in my window. Now we no, got some rocks. Oh, rocks. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so Pennsylvania went. That's it. I mean, it looks like Biden is going to win Nevada. 
I think he's going to win Georgia. And his lead was shrinking in Arizona. But I think it's kind of stabilized now, so he might win Arizona too. Like, he's, yeah. he's going to sweep the remaining battlegrounds except for Alaska. Well, I don't know. Alaska's called, well, it's in North Carolina. They call Alaska, I think, the presidency. I don't know what they call it for the Senate. Okay. But so that means Biden will have flipped back Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan. And he will have made two new flips with Arizona and Georgia if those hold up. So not only will he have won back what was lost in 2016, but he will have made gains in two other states. Yeah. So it'll be good, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Uh, I just want to hear what Trump's statement's going to be. Oh, it's going to be great. If it's been officially called, I mean... Right, the tradition is the the losing candidate calls and congratulates the winner and concedes oh. the race. So I don't know. Hillary had to swallow her pride in 2016. McCain did it in 2008. You know, like I know obviously Romney in 2012, but that's a big. I mean, it's right. It's symbolic. It doesn't change whether or not. Trump concede doesn't change anything, but right. But if he doesn't, that's a kind of a not a not a precedent that it's breaks a, precedent. It's a faux pas. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We're in white after Labor Day, but it does matter, right? You know, because the whole point after is all right. We've had our debate, and the American people have had their say. Now we're supposed to put it back together. Come back together. Which would be fine. Except there's a bunch of Twitter Otzis out there calling for lists of people involved with Trump. Making lists. And Those are just Christmas lists. Oh, so yeah. they're going to check them twice. We want to make a list. And thank you, fine folk. Yeah, it's Christmas time. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's snow. Yeah, it's snow. Again, you can't see it. We can. Yeah. Trust us. It's there. It's. But, yeah, that's it. Breaking news. Okay. Just, what happens next is where the real fun happens. The electoral well, college. However, well, however it reacts, I was going to say. Oh. Yeah, the electoral college, I'm sure, will be a hoot and a half. For all you <laughs> political beatniks out there. I know you've just been waiting for electoral college today. See if, uh, see if there's any... The, the election is... The election itself is just the pregame. The electoral college is the Super Bowl. That's, That's where, where really, real magic happens. Yeah. That's where... Everybody... Anything can happen. Yeah, any, everybody, but usually doesn't. And if they can't decide, they will go to the house, right? That's what they did with Rutherford. Right, yeah. the house picked him. What, had he not garnered enough electoral votes? Yeah. And the candidate, was, the Democrat he was going against, I think won the popular vote. Oh. So the Republican-controlled legislature <laughs> gave them, like, like 20, well, there was a, they gave him the 21 votes that he needed. There must have been a third party that there took was. votes. Yeah. So, Rutherford but see, back in that day, back in them days, you know, there was no time to uh, get enraged and triggered over this stuff because you didn't find out it happened until a week later. Well, except it was only like 11 years removed from a civil war, which was kind of triggering. That's true. Right? Because Lincoln didn't actually win. A majority, no, it was a vote in plurality. But I think right, they won the electoral college because he got all the northern votes. Yeah, and the Democratic ticket or split. split. Well, you know, but here we are. That what you mean? So there you go. It's official. Well, I'm pending some. 
wildly shocking court, you know, ruling that would uh, undermine any of these. I mean, bullets. Bullets. oh, so Pennsylvania puts him at 273. Yeah. Georgia would put him at 299. No, no, 283, 289. Because they have 16. Oh, okay, 289. Arizona is 11, so that'd be 300. 300, and Nevada is 6. So, so, six. Six. so but I. So, Trump right, would have to overturn 30, 37 electoral votes worth of states. states. Which I don't see happening. Yeah, it's going to be a, a tough road to hog sort of thing. Yeah, I don't see that happening. I know there's, there's those ballots that arrived after the election day with the, in Pennsylvania, but those have been put off to the side and haven't been counted. So even if those don't get counted, it doesn't affect the lead that Biden has right now. Like, right. And potentially his lead could grow if those were counted in Pennsylvania. Georgia, I still think, has a, at least as of last night, has a considerable chunk of military ballots that need to be counted. And, you know, Nevada's just going to wait until January 20th to finish counting their votes. Hey, guys, we got it. <laughs> We're done. <Thanks. laughs> just as Biden's finishing the oath of office. Thanks, guys. It helped. Yeah. Oh, Nevada. Nevada. Yep. Yeah. 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 I mean, I will say, now that the news has come, the rain has stopped. That's true. So, but I liked the rain. I know, maybe, maybe in California, as we're driving by burnt out fields, maybe the rain is a good thing. No, it's a sign of doom for California. Did you know what I saw this morning? No. Oh. I went to go get my wife off. I drove across town. That's, that's the top place she likes. The Lutch Brothers. And, uh... <laughs> As I left, I was driving by... A Lunch Druthers. Yeah, the Lunch Druthers. <laughs> what are your druthers about? Uh, uh, food Co. And as I, I always drive through their parking lot to get out, get back on the road to come home. And as I'm driving out, I look, and all their windows are boarded up. Oh, because of the pending results, huh? Yeah, and I'm like, really? There's only one building in town I've seen boarded up, and it's the Food Co. Yep. I have stored houses full of toilet paper. Toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Yeah. Well, you know, that's funny when you, when you talk about that, because it's like, you know, all these cities, especially their downtowns, are boarding up. And, you know, expectation of riots from one side or the other. And, but because the... It's taken so long. Everyone just Everyone's kind of like tired. Like, I don't know if I'm amped up enough to go riot now. Like, I'm not too tired to riot. I mean, maybe we'll see. Maybe, who knows? But it's just kind of because it drew me. Like, it wasn't like a sudden shot Biden wins or Trump wins. Yeah. Like, it's like, well, it sure looks like it's going to be Biden and everyone's kind of venting online and, you know, expending their energy. Yeah, but they aren't like, well, like, you know, I mean, you can only ramp up and it gave everyone time to kind of accept what was going to happen yeah before it happened just been another, so maybe this oh, drawn out process of the counting of the votes is actually a good thing because it's like it gives us like all right all right it looks like i see how this is going to end uh, i hate this but uh, like it's not going to nothing's going to change i mean who knows maybe i'm wrong maybe as we're driving all the capital cities, cities across the country are burning <laughs> but I would think those aren't clouds. That's smoke. yeah, yeah. But I would think that one benefit of this being such a slow count is that or, it allows people to accept the reality of the situation, good or bad. It allows them to kind of like deal with it in their own mind and then start moving forward. I hope that's my hope. We'll see. It'd be fine. I mean, what do I know? Because every time LA wins a championship, they burn it down. So, and that's why they're happy. So I don't know what 
I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, maybe here's what happens. Here, here, here we go. Trump challenges the ballots in several states. They find irregularities. They do a recount. Trump wins enough states to win the electoral college. That would be shocking. That would be jarring. <laughs> that would be the kind of thing that dips some people over the edge after they after they've come back from four years of literally on the brink of death under Trump. Yeah. Suddenly seeing the light at the end of the tunnel in a and Biden president. Snatching it away. <laughs> oh, so part of me kind of wants that to happen now. Stop it. You were the guy rooting for 269, 269. I wanted to see our constitution work. No. You know when the constitution works? Is when there aren't any issues. Not when there's a crisis. Like, no, the, we know the, the car is working right now because we're moving down the road. We don't need to, like, test the limits of that. <laughs> In a crisis, <laughs> you just go back to the Constitution. Section 2 of Article 2, the 12th Amendment. Yeah. You're like, hey, no, yeah. In a crisis, analog brakes kick in. But you don't have to, like, yearn for that. Like, Well, I mean, <laughs> I'd like to know that they work. Right? I don't yeah. want to wait. Well, I guess that would and be And you keep testing it. it and testing it and testing it, and then they break. <laughs> well, it would have been something. It would to have watch been... everybody lose their mind and be like, wait, what's the process now? Yeah. How is that possible? It's been written down for 250 years. Yeah, and then some stodgy press professor from Harvard. Well, actually, no. There's a couple of schools of thought on this. Anyway, what can I say? I... <laughs> yeah. No, I know. You, you, you like to, you like to make some. Did funny. I, did I send you a picture of that tweet where the girl was like, I'm holding my husband and we're literally crying. crying. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've never been that emotional. Ever. <laughs> I, I was reading that at my desk, and uh, my students are like, what are you laughing about? I'm like, nothing. They're like, you're on Twitter, aren't you? <laughs> they knew. <laughs> like, he's on Twitter. That's our... He's laughing at something on Twitter. Hey, like, Yes, I am. <laughs> Do your test. They were working on a math test. Yeah. Basically, I was having to add up electoral votes. Good. A hundred right. different scenarios. How many scenarios you guys got? All right, what if Alaska suddenly flips? What's that do? Nothing. Yeah, that's right, Alaska. Nothing you do matters.